Oh. Hello? Hello. 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 Uh, uh, Samuel. Oh, uh, it's... Uh, Samuel, it's it, Kathy. It's, um, it's, it's... It's Kathy. It's Catherine Harris, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you all remember her as the former Secretary of State in Florida, the one who uh, stole the election for George Bush and then went yes, on to have a... Yes, yes, wonderful, a, wonderful. Had a, Everybody knows who I am. Well, I don't know <laughs> about that, but, um, I mean, I refer to you as Senator, but, of course, you were never Senator. Yes, uh, I was a wonderful Senator. I was uh, a wonderful Senator. But, Samuel, I'm calling you from Shelby County, Alabama, to celebrate President's Day. Well, okay, you realize President's Day was, uh, was yesterday. No, your President's Day was yesterday. Our President's Day is today. What is he, Julius Caesar? He doesn't tell me what for. I'm in Shelby County, Alabama right now. Now, the Shelby... With Steve Stockman. You know the wonderful Steve Stockman from Texas's 36th District who invited the wonderful Motor City madman Ted Nugent to the State of the Union. Now, it's interesting that you're there with, I mean, Steve Stockman, of course, yes, you uh, took Ted Nugent to the State of the Union, but Shelby... Tango, Cal tango! I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing. Go ahead. Uh, now, Shelby County is interesting also because Shelby County is, um, I believe, is that's the county that is um, suing uh, the, the... Yes, they're going to, the Supreme Court's going to hear on February 27th the challenge to Section 5 of the Voting Rights Act. So we're here gearing up for the big day. Yeah. The big day. Because you heard that inaugural from, from that black fella, Obama. All that inclusion. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth like I've been drinking coconut water. Have you had coconut water, Sam? I, I, it's not good. It's, it's not good. All young people keep trying to force coconut water on me. It tastes like dishwater and a little bit of fresca in it. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. The coconut water, I, I got confused here. The uh, Shelby County is trying to uh, roll back the, um, the, the voting They're rights. They're trying to make things right, Sam. The unfair, they want to keep the playing field tilted. White people have it hard enough as it is these days, Samuel. So we are, are you know, Ed Blum, he's here. He's, he's, the, he's, he's the man who's been uh, filing all these suits. Edward Blum, Joseph the Plumber's here. It's wonderful. Now you're all... Just wonderful. Now what has this got to do with coconut water? I got a little bit confused. No, I'm just saying it leaves a bad taste in my mouth, all the inclusion, like coconut oh, water. Oh, right, I see. And, but uh, now, of course, you were uh, pretty famous for... Uh, throwing thousands off the voting rolls. Uh, in fact, um, uh, um, it's called it's called keeping things fair the way God meant them to be, like God's plan for us to have guns and to get rid of the post office. I think what we need to do is have a well-regulated postal militias that will carry your mail and they'll have guns and they'll also do the stop and frisk that the NYPD does. Two birds, one stone. It's wonderful. <laughs> So wait a second. You're you no. Know, so you're saying that the post office should be, should be just have a few well regulated armed militias that bring you your mail, privatize it, train them. Blackwater volunteers to train them. It'll be wonderful. They'll also do some stop and frisks if you need them to. Okay. Now, okay, so you're, um, I, I got to say, that sounds like a real recipe for disaster. I mean, the stop and frisk itself has been uh, sort of a, a dismal policy uh, that really has... He would say that. You, you probably liked that inaugural speech. I was waiting for Huey P. Newton and Woody Guthrie to come out, play a tune. It's like being at Trader Joe's. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Trader Joe's? Yeah, we're all those people who believe, uh, never mind, Samuel. Uh, n needless to say, the line does not move at all at Trader Joe's. Get a system. Say what you will about Whole Foods, and i got a lot to say. But their line moves. It, it, everybody has their part to play, and they do it with a full heart. Don't forget to bring your own bag. That's the type of thing you do, Samuel. Let's get back to this Voting Rights Act thing here. Now, what, now, what is the problem with with with, with the Voting Rights Act and in, in, in yours and Joe the Plumbers? And I'll stuff? tell you exactly why. Ed, Ed Blum will tell you, but I'll tell you his tale of woe. His tale of woe, it's like Jane Eyre. 
Anyway, he lost in 1992 in Houston congressional race to a black fella, Craig Washington. His last name's Washington because slave owners were kind enough to give to give uh, their workers, their guest workers, the last names of a sitting president. Their guest workers back in the days of old. Yeah. So anyway, so Mr. Blum lost unfairly to a black fella in Houston, so he moved to Washington and started the project on fair representation to keep the playing field as God intended, tilted squarely to the right. Well, now, but wait a second. Do you really think that white people are unrepresented in this country? I mean, we Let's have... Let's get the government out of my way. I don't want the government between me and my Klan rally. <laughs> Well, but Samuel, what do you want me to have a pigtail light bulb and a low flow toilet too? I've had enough of it. I've had enough of the Roman Empire. I've had it. <laughs> Up to here. Now, wait a second. You're saying you're so you're saying that uh, President Obama is like Julius Caesar for for upholding the Civil Rights yeah, Act? Yeah, too is, too many Caesars, not enough Brutuses. That's what I say. Anyway, Samuel, too many so Caesars, he founded not the not donor enough what? trust. Not enough what? I'm sorry, I missed what you said. The donor's said. trust, Mr. Blum. Yeah, no, no. And, but too and many... it has money. What Mr. Blum does, he provides a very nice service. He 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 connects angry white people with, uh, with uh, powerful lawyers. It's like Christian Mingle, getting people together, finding God's match for you. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, too many Caesars and not enough what? Brutus's. Oh, I see. Okay. I hate. Spoiler alert: Brutus killed Caesar. Come on, Sam. You've had since 44 BC to figure that one out. Come on. <laughs> that enough? Not enough time for you. Well, and by the way, it's Downton Abbey, not Downtown Abbey. Marcus was so angry when you kept saying Downtown Abbey. Marcus is is just st- he is still right now so upset. First Lady Sybil passes, and now Matthew Crawley. Wait, uh, Marcus is just beside himself. You can't stop crying. Well, no, wait, wait a second. You know, that actually raises an interesting question because... Uh, oh, we could talk about Downton Abbey all day. Well, I, 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 didn't, I didn't realize. It's not Downtown Abbey? I had no idea. No, of course. And, uh, but at least you won that podcast award for most mispronounced words. And, and congratulations. Kudos to you. Well, no, wait Good a second. No, no, I, I, you, you mentioned uh, Marcus Bachman, and, and I wanted to talk to you about this some time ago, but uh, you have a very strange phone system, but uh, be that as it may, um, there were reports out of, I know you're good friends with Michelle Bachman, and, and many Michelle people, Mabel, yes. Many people say you were, in, in some respects, the first, I mean, the, the original Michelle Bachman. I mean, you were really out there, you know, uh, with your... Uh, your lipstick all over your face and stuff like that before before it was even fashionable in the Republican Party. Uh, now, my understanding is that um, there have still been uh, a lot of problems that are being reported with Michelle Bachman's former presidential campaign, not the least of which was that she was under the sort of spell of some type of Svengali, her debate coach, who would not let her sleep in the same room as Marcus Bachman while they were on the campaign trail. What, what does this have to do with Downton Abbey? I have no what idea. What does any of that have to do with Downton Abbey? Now, Samuel, listen, I will not be waylaid by you. Uh, you know what we're going to do after we leave Shelby, Alabama, Sam? We're going to Israel. Again, you... We're going to Israel. See, you know I love going to Israel. Yes, I know. In fact, I feel like we rarely talk when you haven't been or are going. We are going, and Joseph and Hadassah Lieberman are going to be there, oh, and really? Joseph the Plumber are going to be there, because we're going to celebrate the end of talks on the two-state solution, because if we have two states, there's no entrance strategy for Jesus. Praise him. <laughs> oh, my God, which I forgot to... Ted Nugent's going to go, too. We're going to talk about God's plan for guns. That's... As you may or may not know, God had a plan. You know, what with all the shootings, there's a plan. The pundits on Fox say it, and it's true. What is the plan? The Second Amendment, when the earth was created 6,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, as you know, God handed down from Mount Sinai, Moses, 
the Second Amendment who passed it on to James Madison, and then he told two friends, Colonel William C. Church and General George Wingate in 1871. Then they gave it to Ambrose Burnside, and he founded the NRA. Eventually it got to Wayne LaPierre and David Keene. That's God's plan. Guns everywhere. Of course, no nuts. You don't bring a nut. No nut foods and Snickers bars to a schoolyard. Guns are fine, but don't you dare bring any nuts. Those kids need to be protected. <laughs> now, where, where, where do you get this, uh, this, this record of history? I mean, I, uh, you seem well versed in it, but I, 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 I never heard anything about. It's called the King James Bible. <laughs> That's my record of history, Samuel. So anyway, we're going, we're going. We're going, we're going, I'm sorry, we're going to Israel because there's a lot of things in common that we have with them. First of all, more walls are needed, bigger and higher immigration walls, as you know, to keep the keep the, the illegals out. And there needs to be bigger and higher walls in Israel, too. You know, I don't understand why the Palestinians are so ungrateful. If you think about it, in 1948, 750,000 lucky Palestinians got to take a trip. It's like Oprah sending people to Australia. 750,000 lucky Palestinians. You're going to Nizana. <laughs> same thing. We did the same thing in the 1600s with the Indians. They got to take a trip. Yeah, well, no, okay. Wonderful. See when see the new world. Go out there, hit the brick, see what's what. <laughs> no, no. I have to ask you. I, I, well, you, I mean, you mentioned uh, immigration reform, and uh, you know, one of the the more walls. That's the only reform I'm talking about. Well, all right, fair enough. Now, I, I appreciate that you want more uh, greater border security. I'm really curious as your take on. Um, the uh, after the the State of the Union, uh, Marco Rubio, who you know is actually a senator from Florida. He's he's adorable, Marco Rubio. He's adorable. So what if he puts a water bottle here or there? If what he's saying is what's important, I don't know why people get hung up on that kind of thing. But what they should be talking about with Marco Rubio is how, how he and, and that wonderful Paul Ryan and his Paul Ryan and his friends Murph, Sully, Fitzy, the Fat Man. You know that whole crew, Paul Ryan's crew. Austerity, austerity, austerity. Celebrate it, Sam, because you know the true engine of economic growth is increasing tax subsidies to prescription drug companies. <laughs> well, I didn't. That's no, the true how, engine how of economic that growth. That and P ninety X. That's your health is plan. It? How does that? You want to build your biceps? Lift up a couple of Ayn Rand novels. Carry your own mail. That's how you get your heart rate up. No, wait a second. I, I, I want to hear more about how tax subsidies to prescription drugs, how does that drive economic growth? It's the true engine of economic growth. You know what else helps? Fracking. Fracking. Blasting shale rock beneath the earth's surface as God intended. That's, that's how you grow an economy. Now, that's how you do it. More corporate profits. They have suffered enough. Yeah, let, them, no, t- let them let them be free them up, Sam. Yeah, Don't be so unkind to business. Now, tell me something. I, you you do a lot of tra- uh, traveling. Uh, I, d- I go to Israel, you, and you know, February twenty seventh, they're hearing the Vo- Voted Rights Act thing to keep the playing field tilted. But also, do you remember in February twenty sixth, in nineteen sixty nine, Levi Eshkol? passed away and was succeeded by Golda Meir. But why I bring it up is he, he appointed Moshe Dayan, the Minister of Defense, when he was... No, I know. When he know. was... Moshe Dayan, you know how I feel. He's wonderful. Yes, yes, I He's know. He's wonderful. Oh, and the king and I. No. Oh. Was, no. I hope you're going to name your child Moshe Dayan Seder. No, I probably won't. I mean, uh, the, but it was not. It was. How about David Ben Gurion, Cedar? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm curious. I mean, how do you? Who funds these trips? I mean, you're in uh, Shelby, Alabama. You're going to Israel. What's next? The Donors Trust funds it. <laughs> the Donors Trust. They're the same ones that fund the Ed Blum's suits. Now, they what, give money to Alec and what, things what, like that. What is it that you do exactly? I mean, what, what, what is their return on investment here? I mean, the, you know, one of the things that has become very clear is that, 
you know, frankly, a lot of what happens on the on the right seems to be a bit of a racket. You know, you have this uh, big war between Karl Rove and uh, folks, I think, like yourself. And, uh, you know, the, it's really just two different uh, groups looking for more money. Don't worry, Sam. It, there is, it's not a real war. It's just a distraction for dodo heads like you to talk about. <laughs> Don't worry. The money's all going in the same place. They're all supporting the same people. We're all getting the message out there. Voter fraud. It's a huge problem, Sam. It's a huge problem. And Supreme Court uh, Chief Justice Roberts, he'll make it right in the same way that they tell us that speech is money. Money is speech, and it's true, the way God intended. No, no. But don't bring any nut foods to school. No, but... Got to protect the children. <laughs> How is I mean? Are, how are you dealing with uh, uh, President Obama's huge victory? I mean, isn't that a sign that that, with all due respect, it's because of voter fraud? You tell that 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 victory, as you call it, is called voter fraud. But how come that, there's been how, no? There was, I think, office. maybe fifteen examples of not even of uh, convictions, but of of charges of voter fraud across the country this past election cycle. I can't. What did you say to me? That's <laughs> it. There's been, as far as I know, about 15 charges of voter fraud across the entire country after this election. Not even convictions. Just, just that. I mean, 15 charges of it. I mean, uh, how can you say this is a problem? It, because it's a huge problem. But we're going to make it right when when the Supreme Court decides on the on the on Section Five of the Voting Rights Act. But how Act. does that it's affect voter fraud how? in any way? Why People are it's rolling a rock up a hill every day, Sam. White men especially are, are having a real struggle. I'm surprised you don't have more sympathy with this, being that you you're well you're you're you are a white man, are you not? Well, yes. I mean, I am a white man. Yes. Well then, uh, why why are you so resistant to this? Why do you keep telling me coconut water's delicious? It is not. <laughs> It is not said anything. I mean, coconut water is not bad. It, it, my understanding it's is not hydrates. good. It's not good. You know, one of uh, our listeners asked. And five hour energy doesn't give you any energy at all. <laughs> not at all. No, I am. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know, I one I got a, a tweet from a uh, a former uh, I mean a listener who wanted to ask you uh, what you did with your with toe your your pet camel. Oh, my camel toe. That is so lovely. My, my camel toe is still in Israel, where I keep him boarded. That is so wonderful. Thank you for asking about my camel toe. That's wonderful. I love that camel toe. Yes. He, I, I, that's so wonderful. That is so adorable that somebody asked about my camel toe. <laughs> that's wonderful. What is it's real, The full name is Tosef. Tosef. My <laughs> name is Tosef. And uh, uh, people are still asking me to ask you, um, wh- what's happening with Michelle Bachman? I mean, she lost badly. She, she's having all these revelations. And uh, you are close, obviously, with uh, Marcus. Uh, w- well, right now, Michelle's trying to, ma- trying to help Marcus out. He is so low. He is so blue after Lady Sybil and Matthew Crawley passed. He's so upset. I, I don't so Michelle's got her hands Is up. that from uh, Downton Abbey? Downton Abbey, Yes. <laughs> Downton, not downtown, Downton. Downton Abbey. Yes, it's horrible. Lady Sybil and Matthew Crawley, he was so, and you know, he loves that Thomas. Marcus, if he, he was, when I, through his tears, he said, if anything happens to that Thomas, well, Thomas, as you know, got, got battered a little bit uh, defending his friend, his gentleman friend, so he, uh, he took it on the chin, literally. Uh, <laughs> And and Marcus was upset about that, but he was so proud of him for standing up for his gentleman friend. Uh, but as I, long as, as Thomas is alive, Marcus he, says he can he can he can face another day. But it's tough. He couldn't get out of bed this morning because of Matthew Crawley. Because of is that is it Matthew Crawley? Is that from Downton? Abbey? Samuel, I will not indulge your nonsense if you cannot keep up with this conversation. I, I don't know what. <laughs> I honestly I just don't know what. I I'm don't watch do that thing. television show, so I'm I'm just not familiar with the the characters. <sighs> You're not familiar with. <laughs> you seem very edgy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I know. Aesthetic. I could hear that. I could hear. I suppose that. you didn't see Puppy Bowl Nine either. 
on Animal Planet. No, I didn't. I didn't even know it was on. I mean, I uh, there, there's I I had no idea. Yes, on, uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, there's the Puppy Bowl. You didn't watch uh, Super Bowl Sunday? Do I watch Puppy Bowl? Of course I do, I, and I have all the DVDs. I have one through nine. Let me ask you uh, this. I mean, I want to just get it back to the news, if if we could. Uh, you're familiar that there was a, a rally with about uh, nearly 45,000 people uh, in, the, uh, in Washington this past weekend uh, protesting against the potential for approving Keystone XL. When, when in your travels, I mean, is this P90XL? Some... No, no. Keystone XL. That is the pipeline that is going to run from the, the Alberta tar sands. I'm sorry. I know what it is. I thought you said P90X. I was just thinking of Paul Ryan and his friends Murph and Sully and Fitzy again. Sorry. No, uh, now, now, it seems like you're avoiding this uh, question. I mean, but uh, aren't you concerned with... The idea of global warming, and we had the, the, the... Why would I be concerned with the idea of global warming? If, we are, if the CO2 levels that we're at now mean that a 69-foot wall of water is coming our way, then that's the way God intended it. I'm sure it was in the same plan he handed down 6,000 years ago to Moses, who gave it to, do I, to James Madison. I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it's all part of the plan. But what if it's not in there? What if what if this idea that we would uh... How could it not be in there, Sam? If it's going to happen, it's part of the plan. Who do you think the earth is is here for if not for white people to do with it what they will and to send 750,000 lucky Palestinians on a free trip? <laughs> now, when I... Uh, do, well, you were talking about Israel. What, what do you think about uh, this nomination of Chuck Hagel? Uh, you've got uh, the Republicans are more or less filibustering him now, and uh, it, it seems to be they have switched from it was first Benghazi, and now it's back to uh, supposedly Hagel doesn't like Israel. I mean, do, what, what is your sense? I mean, this is a former Republican. Well, let me Republican. ask you this question, Chuck Hagel. Is, 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 is that is Mr. Obama... In support of Chuck Hagel? Well, yes. I mean, he nodded. Well, then that's it. that's all I need to hear. Then no thank you very much. <laughs> then it's not part of God's plan. It's very simple, Samuel. It's as plain on the nose as the nose on your face, says this. That's, uh, if, if, if Mr. Obama is for it, then we are against it. Praise him, white power, Breitbart, I saw. Well, then I think we could probably come to some type of agreement that uh, you must be against this targeted assassination program uh, with the drones. So we, we, uh, drones, you know what, remote control drones, I think they're wonderful. I also think more wireless data sniffing on Facebook and Google through Apple Safari browser is, is one another economic growth engine. I have never, I can't believe that you're that sort of techno technologically in the know. Why is that hard to believe, Samuel? Well, I, I mean, you don't strike... Extrajudicial assassinations are a true engine of economic <laughs> growth, as long as the Republican is doing it. Otherwise, I want Senate hearings too sweet. Uh, so you're, you're in favor of... It depends. What does it depend It on? depends. If a Republican is in office and they are... Uh, proposing uh, more drone technology and information uh, mining, then that is part of God's plan, and I am for it. If a Democratic gentleman, especially uh, who has dark skin, is for it, then it's not part of God's plan, and I am against it. I, well, I see. Well, I mean, that makes it sort of easy for you, doesn't it, to fall on one side of an issue or another? I mean... In many respects, I mean, I think that's one of the complaints that, um, you know, some of us have with, with uh, other liberals and progressives, that they just, they just perceive it the opposite way. I, I, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> All I know is Joe and Hadassah and I are going to Israel. We're on an well, L.L. flight to Haifa. Well, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I wish you uh, the best of luck, and I appreciate your calling in. Is there anything else you wanted to share? I mean, anything else you wanted to, to plug, I guess? Uh, how long are you going to be in Israel? Plug? I don't, I don't know. I'm just, well, as you know, Pope Benedict is stepping down, and we're also going to have a rally. We're raising money. We're having another Mitch McConnell lookalike contest where for a dollar you can punch Mitch McConnell lookalike in the face. <laughs> 
and we are uh, having a rally to make sure that there is not a, a black pope Peter Turkelson. I believe that's his name. Oh, really? Uh, who, yeah, there's a, I, didn't, I had no idea. Who, who takes Pope Benedict's place. We cannot have that. We cannot have it. It's not part of God's plan. I mean, we've had enough. What with Lady Sybil and Matthew Crawley? I, oh. Well, I, um, I, I guess I'll tune into Downton Abbey and find out, uh, you know, what you're talking about. But I really I have no idea. No, I'm sure you don't. That's not a surprise to me at all that you have no idea. I'd be shocked if you had an idea, Samuel. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Senator Catherine Harris, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Samuel. It's as always wonderful, and I, and I still am going to light a candle that you name your son uh, Moisha Diane, uh, or uh, or better get General Moisha Diane Cedar. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Well, or David Ben Gurion Cedar. Yeah, I don't think that. Oh. Or Levi Ashcole Cedar, that would That's be That's highly wonderful. unlikely as well. But I appreciate uh, the suggestion. We'll put them on the list. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Catherine Harris, everyone, thanks. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, hello. No, 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 bye. Hello, bye-bye now. hello. Yes, okay. yes, hello. All right. Okay, folks, uh, Wow. She's um, she sounds actually in pretty good spirits. She sounded in really good spirits. She <laughs> she sounded in good spirits. I was really surprised uh, with everything that you guys were talking about that she didn't call you a bad Jew once. Yeah, no, I mean she seemed uh, she seemed a little bit on edge, but uh, she seemed as friendly as ever. All right, very folks. patient. Yeah, she was very patient with me, and I appreciated that. Uh-